Um, there were two really important videos I encourage you to watch to help you on your journey to artistic expression and creative freedom. These are the URLs, and maybe you can screen capture them or something, but I'll, I'll tell you about them. The first is an amazing lecture. Has anyone seen this John Cleese lecture on creativity? All right, great. Enough of you. You have to go. This is m mandatory viewing. Um, John Cleese of Monty Python fame um, talking about creativity and how to create the right environment to encourage your creativity. I've, I've never heard anything like this. The second is a great uh, video documentary on Brian Eno, the famous musician and producer. Uh, in this documentary, Brian talks a great deal about his creative process, which is quite unique, as you will discover, and maybe not surprising to those of you who are musicians and probably read about him. And uh, has a lot to say, and it will certainly inform your view and your approach to creativity and your work. While you may not like Brian Eno's music, you cannot argue that what he does is always fresh and original. And I want to emphasize those two words and the beauty of them, fresh and original. I live by these words. There is a great myth circulated by popular media, uh, that of the overnight success. Uh, they are, in fact, about as common as unicorns. One of the best pieces of advice that I can give, and it isn't very original, but always needs reinforcing is, Practice, practice, practice. Constantly work at your craft. At first, you will fail miserably. That's good. You'll have to do it again and again and again and again. This sounds like crazy advice, but I recommend you fail early and you fail often. The sooner you fail, the sooner you get to success. It's a fact of life. Be thankful for your failures and learn from them. They are propelling you towards success. You just don't know it at the time. Uh, for the, the, the greatest primer I know on this idea of failure and how to get to success, get Don Hahn's book, Brainstorm. Um, the best primer I know on how to tease the artist out of you and how to nourish it. Learn to have ideas. Develop the muscle and flex it <clears throat> regularly. It is ideas that your clients, your filmmakers, your collaborators will respond to most. And secondarily, your technique. And in the words of Hans Zimmer, and I like this a lot, ideas are not limited by budget. The creative process takes place in your head. And so um, our little band of sound geeks from Sydney and LA, uh, Chris Jenkins, Greg Rudloff, Ben Osmo, David White, and myself, would go on to win some Oscars for our work, um, receiving the Academy Awards for Best Sound Editing and Best Sound Mixing. Um, I'm not telling you this to cover myself in glory, but to show you something you didn't see or didn't hear if you watched the telecast. Uh, the video I'm going to show you is taken by my wife, who is sitting in the wings at the Dolby Theater. That What they do is when you're a nominee, they bring everybody down really close, so you have a very short trip up to the stage so you can maximize your speech time. Uh, this is the video she took as I went to the stage to receive my award. I was not planning to say anything on my way up to the stage, but I was overcome with emotion, as you can imagine. This is a big event in somebody's life. Um, remember what I said about emotion. Um, you didn't get to hear what I said because the network um, muted me. Um, the irony of the sound guy being muted is not lost on me. Um, here's that clip. Mad Maxis, let's hear it! Um, dropping, <laughs> I know, I know, it's, I'm sorry, Matt, I'm sorry, Rio. Um, dropping the F-bomb in front of one billion people is not a highlight of my career, <laughs> by any means. But I am proud for being in the moment, just like my acting teacher told me to do. And finally, I can't think of a better way to close this discussion than with this clip. Oh, what a day. What a lovely day. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>